G'day cocktail lovers. If you're the type who likes eggnog, or even if you thought, this is the year I'm going to do it, I'm going to make my own eggnog, I thoroughly recommend you do that because it's quite easy to make. But here's my big tip. If you're wanting your own eggnog this December, the time to make it is now. This might confuse or surprise some people, but the best eggnog is aged eggnog. And I do love introducing people to the concept when they've not heard of aged eggnog, because as soon as you say, I'm going to age the eggnog, like for months, they'll freak out a bit because it's got dairy, it's got eggs. Isn't that unsafe? People have known for hundreds of years, if you keep the alcohol content high enough, eggnog will not spoil. So long as you don't leave it out in the summer sun, I'm thinking of us in our Australian summer. But yeah, it only has to be above about 14% alcohol by volume and it will not go off. Now in uh, some cooler climes, people just put it in a cool place in the house. I'm in Australia, I don't take risks. I do actually keep it in the refrigerator. In terms of a recipe, I put videos up last year, but Alton Brown's aged eggnog recipe is my starting point. And I say starting point because I'm a big believer, don't be held hard and fast to this, but it gives you a good idea of ratios to things like egg, milk, cream, and alcohol and sugar. Each batch I make is a little different. The alcohols might be different. Common ones to use are rum, brandy, whiskey. You can use whatever you like. I almost always use a blend of rum, brandy, and whiskey in mine. You can use different types of milks and creams. It doesn't have to be dairy. You can use coconut milk, coconut cream, or anything that takes your fancy. And you can even experiment with the sugars. Raw sugar, white sugar, caster sugar. I actually like making it with my spiced apple brown sugar syrup. I'll leave a link to how to make that on this video. But it's a great cheat for not having to worry about the cooking spices because you get those flavors into the sugar syrup. So two birds, one stone. I have three batches of eggnog in my fridge at the moment. One I made about three weeks ago. One dates back about three months and one I made in December last year for the specific purpose of having a one year eggnog for Christmas this year. I'm getting in a little bit early. I'm going to do a taste of each of those and give you uh, an idea of what is maybe different about them. Bearing in mind, as I said, each recipe is even a little different. Like I've been known to actually use a cream liqueur in place of some of the cream or milk content. I'm going to taste uh, the newest one first. And I, I often say when I think, mm, that hardly tastes like alcohol, but I have shared this with people and they go, yes, it does, it tastes like alcohol. I actually have some Advocat in this. As I said, I sometimes use cream liqueurs. I had an open bottle of Advocat I'd had open last Christmas and I thought, I'm gonna use that up. So besides the usual spirits, there is Advocat in here. And I think that makes this a bit creamier than usual. The three month old one is a bit darker, but that's not a product of its aging. That's because I did actually make this with the brown sugar syrup. The other one was a mix of white sugar and brown sugar. I'll give this one a taste. And for me, I feel like the alcohol flavors fade even more. It's, it's fantastic flavors in this. I love this eggnog, but even though it's the same amount of booze, for me, it usually tastes less boozy. I know I've read things online, extremely contradictory things online. Some people think the booze taste comes through more. I think it's going to depend on your recipe and the environment in which you store your eggnog and your mileage may vary, but that's what I'm getting. Wow, my voice went away right at the end of that. I'll see if I can re-fortify myself with my, well, it's not quite a year old, but this is, as at point of tasting this, this is about 10, 11 months old. Oh, this is such a treat. Mm. The sweetness is still there. The alcohol is definitely there, but I do think the creaminess and the sweetness comes to the fore more the more you age it. You know, look, if this worries you, if this idea, particularly me talking about a year aged eggnog, I know there are people age stuff for much longer than that, but if you're worried about this idea, I mean, I just have to say, your bloodline is weak, you will not survive the winter. To be slightly nicer about it, if the idea of aging eggnog worries you a bit, do baby steps. I think when you make eggnog, it should be allowed to stand minimum a couple of days to a week, just so the flavors fully integrate. I think agitate it or you know, shake it once a day or so, 
<laughs> I've been doing that for, you know, 10, 11 months with this one. Not every day, but most days giving it a shake. Taste your eggnog after a week and I'm betting it will be good. My personal take is I think your eggnog should age at least a month because the flavors just become richer and it gets better. Not, like I said, you look online, you'll get extremely contradictory accounts. On top of everything else, personal taste is personal taste. I think aging eggnog is an awesome idea. I think it tastes fantastic. I think you should try it and tell me how it goes. Just to keep things interesting, I've come up with an idea for my future aging eggnogs. There is actually another bottle of this one that I made uh, last December and my plan is I'm going to drink it down until it's like I'm down to half a bottle of it and I'll keep it. This is going to be a Solera eggnog. I'll make another batch and top it up with a new batch and then leave that until the following Christmas and then do the same thing. Drink half the bottle, make a new batch, top it and keep going. So for years to come, there'll be the spirit, pardon the pun, of the previous eggnogs in it and it'll be an heirloom passed down to my children who will go, Grandpa's gone crazy, put him in a home. As long as it's a nice home, I don't mind. But I can't recommend aging eggnog enough. I think it's absolutely fantastic. You should definitely try it. Like I said, if it scares you a little bit, be daring. But maybe take it a step at a time, but it's really worth it. And unlike poor Homer Simpson, who only gets 30 sweet noggy days before the government takes it away, I have eggnog all, all year round. And I love it. I think you will too. Cheers.